This is the social doc interview six, take one. Ow! Hey, <laughs> ho, <laughs> Kermit talking to Patrick Burns. Kermit the frog here. I'd like you to delve into that a little bit. Uh, Don't touch that dial. <laughs> Thank God for editing, right? Hi, I'm Patrick Burns, paranormal investigator. Like everyone else, you know, it's, it's a lifelong uh, curiosity of mine. My grandmother was seen as a ghost uh, several years after she had passed away in about uh, uh, 1977 or 78 by the woman who purchased the house that she lived in. She called up my mom in hysterics and told her, I just saw your mother in the kitchen. And my mom was like, yeah, right. Sounds like somebody's been hitting the, uh, the martinis a little early today. But then when she accurately described what my grandmother was wearing, my mom went from being a cynic at one point, literally, to a believer at that moment. My mom's jaw dropped and she never questioned it again after that. And of course, I was about 10 years old at the time. It was very profound uh, to me. It had a very significant impact on me because you know I've been told all my life, oh, ghosts don't exist, there's no such thing. Not only do they exist, but your own grandmother is apparently one. So that weighed in very, very heavily on me uh, at an early age. Uh, definitely the, the recognition. I have complete strangers come up to me at conferences and say, Patrick, I love your show, and will ask me questions about maybe some of the techniques that I've used while filming the show, while filming Haunting Evidence. So from that perspective, it has aided me, I think. It, there's more recognition to me. People are familiar with some of my work. Um, I'm a published author as well, and you know, people are you know, inclined to know a little bit more about me, may, maybe have read my book when they approach me at these conferences. So from that perspective, the pros outweigh the cons. Some of the cons that uh, I think we run into being on programs like this is that a lot of people have a tendency to believe that because we're on TV, we're not totally sincere. That uh, what we're doing is smoke and mirrors and that, uh, you know, everything is, is simply for entertainment, which of course television programs are. And I can say with absolute certainty that I sleep very well at night. Um, I never pulled the wool over anybody's eyes. I never faked anything, any evidence for the camera. And I <laughs> like to joke, maybe that's the reason I no, no longer have a TV show. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I definitely never compromised my integrity because I never got into this field with the intent of being on television. It was just a happy side effect of being in the right place at the right time. A uh, production company came knocking and uh, opportunity knocked and I answered that door. And I make apologies to no one for doing that because it has given me amazing opportunities and I have met some amazing people in my work over the years doing this. You know, I love the paranormal, but it doesn't rule my life. There are other elements, you know, I love music. I'm a big fan of 80s pop. Daryl Hall and John Oates music is my number one favorite group. It's really kind of cool because I make connections with people when I meet, I go to these conferences. Um, Marley, my fiance, it turns out she's a huge Hall and Oates fan. So we, uh, yeah, we, we found this connection. Actually, uh, Daryl Hall, I guess, stepped on her hand at a concert. She was in the front row, and he smacked my hand so hard that it stung for about a week. So Daryl Hall has broken blood vessels in, in both of our hands, and we, we have our Hall hand swear now that we, we make. <laughs> yes, on some levels, I, I believe that it is. Um, I think it's going to be, you know, it, the, the bubble will, will eventually start to shrink. I don't think it'll go back to the same level it was at 10 years ago because television shows have definitely made it more mainstream. The happy side effect of the shows is that they have also brought a lot of people out who otherwise might not have been interested in this or maybe had had experiences and might have not had the the confidence to talk about these experiences with other people. So this is the this is definitely the 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 good side effect. And yes, there will come a time when it's no longer as mainstream, but I think a lot of people that otherwise might not have been in the paranormal will still be around uh, when, when it's no longer the fad that it is.
You know, I, I was watching a cartoon on, uh, on television with my sons. They were talking about uh, ghosts and uh, ghost hunters, not necessarily the ghost hunters, not necessarily taps, but ghost hunters that were on television. One of the characters made, but they're the best known paranormal investigators out there. And one of the other characters says, just because they're the best known doesn't mean they're the best. And I was like, that is so poignant. I mean, no disrespect to any of my peers, myself included. You know, I'm talking about myself. I'm on television. I have recognition from my, my stint on haunting evidence. But that is what I would love to, to really say to people. Just because somebody's on television doesn't mean that they're a better investigator. Don't necessarily believe everything that you see on television. A lot goes into the editing room, and a lot gets lost in the editing room. And uh, I think most people uh, that were actually go on a paranormal investigation, if they're expecting to see what they see on television, they're going to be sorely disappointed because it's a lot of sitting around waiting for something to happen. It's not as exciting as it is on TV, on the cameras. And that would be the, the, the message that I want to make to people that, um, you know, this is, this is something that is very popular right now uh, in, in popular media, but there's a lot more to it than that. Patrick? Yes? You're out of touch. You're out of time. I'm out of my head when you're not around, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks a lot, man. You bet.